It is well worth exploring this domain thoroughly, though it will take some time. Approximately as long as it would take to read an entire alchemy book from cover to cover, in my estimation. Perhaps I could assess each threat that awaits us, quantify the total effort required in each case, and... Hmm? Oh, from the look on your face, you wish to continue the battle now, correct? Well then let's go. Remember to make each move count, and be ready to change strategy at a moment's notice. I was reading an alchemy paper recently, and was particularly interested by the section on targeted integration of hidden effects of composite alchemical ingredients. Some details of the experiment weren't expounded on in full, although I was able to follow along and bridge most of the gaps, but I'm keen to learn more about what happens during the actual mixing stage. I'll have to take the time to recreate the entire experiment in full, then I can observe it for myself. You'd like to watch too? Certainly. I'll let you know when I plan to conduct the experiment. It is rather pleasant here, far away from all the commotion. We needn't be in a hurry to leave. I would offer to paint your portrait since we have some time on our hands, but unfortunately, I don't have my new palette on hand. Hmm. I suppose I could peruse one of the books here. Reading is a fine way to calm the mind. Having a challenging mid to long term goal is a good thing. This applies equally to combat, job seeking, and the pursuit of knowledge. But what people get out of achieving their goal depends on the individual. Quite a few books. Storybooks, mostly. A rare sight in the House of Dana. They claim it would distract the students from their studies. But if the fate of a student's studies depends on externally imposed restrictions, whether to storybooks or otherwise, they won't make it far in academia. Rest time, you say? Hmm. <laughs> then let's give our vocal cords a rest. Grab some coffee and spend some time thinking about the things you're usually too busy for. You know that magical bird I told you about? The one I spent three days hunting? I still wear the feather I took as a trophy on my waist. There's nothing like finally defeating your enemy after a long, hard battle. It's like biting into a delicious steak when you're starving hungry. So whatever happens, don't give up. I've had times when I wished that one day I'd wake up to find Baron Bunny had come to life and could talk. You know, like Oz, Fischl's Raven? They get to go adventuring together and can even split up on missions when they need to. Still, Baron Bunny is already a huge help. Besides, if I want to become the best Outrider ever, it's me I gotta focus on. What do you think we'll find if we go further in? I'm excited to see. I know, everyone needs to rest after the last battle, but I'm an Outrider. I'm not used to standing around waiting. Make sure you don't forget to call me when you're ready to leave. Look, even if there are a couple of tough customers lurking around this place, what's there to worry about when you've got Arataki numero uno ito on your side, huh? Huh? <laughs> there is nothing out there that you need to be afraid of. Let's see who actually has the guts to face me. Couple of whacks from my club will send him running back whence they came. Wapow! And if not, we'll let Ushi deal with him. Oh, anyway, no use fighting on an empty stomach. Hey, they do food here, right? <laughs> oh, these books are actually pretty good. I bet the boys in the gang would enjoy reading them too. Huh? Fairy tales? Y you mean they're meant for kids? <clears throat> uh, what, what I meant was we should totally share these books with the kids in the city. Uh, they'd be a smash hit with them. All right, who are we going to throw down with next? I'm ready to rumble. What are we waiting for anyway? Come on, let's go! Or they'll start thinking we're scared of them. Oh, but I guess you need some time to organize the victory feast, right? You gotta plan ahead for these things. Okay, yeah, we can hang around here for a little longer. Good thing I got this lollipop to tide me over. The enemies we face are of a lowly breed. Deal with them however you see fit. But do not get complacent. You should expect to fend for yourself as I am not in the habit of coming to other people's rescue. 
If you do encounter a foe for whom you are no match, simply make yourself scarce, and I shall deal with it in due course. Before I go on a long journey, I tend to leave the children of the House of the Hearth with some homework to complete in my absence. Many of them, however, simply play to their heart's content for most of the time I am gone, then rush to get their homework done in the final few days before my return. They believe I am none the wiser, but I have simply elected not to expose their chicanery. After all, to complete one's work in a short time frame is a skill in its own right. You intend to take a rest? I concur. You do look quite tired. Self-knowledge is a good trait to have. Better to walk at a slower pace if it means you will travel further in the end. I brought some coffee candies. Here, take one. <coughs> hey, are you sure you can keep going? Maybe we should take things a bit more slowly? It's nothing serious. If I let every little setback stop me, I'd never have made it this far. There are a surprising number of books here. I can't help but wonder if there are any ancient prescriptions or medical texts. Sorry to disappoint, but I already took a look. They're pretty much all children's books. Hmm, is that so? Well, some fairy tales may still have therapeutic benefits in treating mood-related disorders. This place is truly perilous. Do you have any injuries or concerning symptoms you'd like to tell me about? Yes, I know you're very skilled. But just because you're not black and blue doesn't mean everything is okay. If you're not careful, fatigue will accumulate over time and catch you unawares. You must remember to stretch to relieve tension and ensure good circulation of your chi. Or to put it bluntly, He's worried about you, so just lie down and let us give you a quick checkup. Oh, I don't like it when people around me get hurt. It's so upsetting to see them in pain. But sometimes in life, fighting is inevitable. All I can do is pray and support everyone from behind by patching up the injured. And I have to do it with a smile, <laughs> if only to keep people's spirits up. A squirrel, a fox, and a cute kitty cat! Oh, I'm trying to write a heartwarming song with a fairy tale theme, but it's a little tough. I think I need to go back to the storybooks and look for some more inspiration. Are you injured at all? Rest here, let me give you a full examination. Just a scratch? Oh, you shouldn't say that! No matter how minor your injury, you mustn't ignore it. I won't take up too much of your time, I promise. There are some pretty tough cookies lurking around in here, huh? Still, nothing to be scared of. If you're out on stormy seas and a giant wave is coming towards you, you only put yourself at risk of capsizing if you try to steer around it. But if you face it head on and take it on the bow, you can split that wave down the middle. I'm used to taking the helm when the storms come, so when we head into battle, feel free to put me up front. There's a lot of stories about me floating around in Liyue, but I guess the most well-known is the one about me defeating Haishan. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I went into that fight with a huge ego. I thought I'd seen it all and wanted to show people that I could take on the world. Little did I know, it would very nearly cost me my life. Ultimately, I still dealt the final blow. But in the end, what got me through it wasn't my arrogant desire to prove myself. It was the fact that I had a whole crew behind me that I cared about a lot. Since we got some time on our hands, do you want to take a seat and shoot the breeze for a bit? I brought some drinks if you're thirsty. With me here, we can take what Ever this domain has to throw at us. There's no point in spending all your time worrying about what lies beyond the horizon. If it's a sunny day, you can snooze away 
And if there's dark clouds ahead, you just gotta roll up your sleeves and sail on through the storm. That there is the secret to living a happy life.